So our focus today is on graphing and so this is called an ordered pair and it's you've got an x coordinate and a y coordinate and this is how they're written x y this point right here zero zero is called the orange origin that's where the two set of axes the x the x axes and the y axes meet at zero zero so first we're going to do some practice graphing so remember this is x comma y so this is the x axis this is the y axis so we, we're at 0x, so we stay here, and we move up. So we're here on the, on the y-axis, and we're going to go up 3. So 1, 2, 3. This is our first point. The next one is over 2. We have an x-coordinate of positive 2, a y-coordinate of negative 2, that's our second point. Three, we go over one, two, three, up one, and then negative one, down one. Point four. So when we write the equation of a horizontal line, it's just y equals a number. And for the vertical line, it's x equals a number. So we're going to write the equations for this li for these lines. This is line one, and this is line two. And don't forget that these lines right here, these are just the axes. So this is a horizontal line. So we're going to write it with x equals and this number right here is whatever number x equals so x equals 2 this horizontal line because it's horizontal it's y equals and y equals the number that y hits every time so negative 3 So the last thing we're going to talk about are points of intersection. So it's where two lines meet. It's the two places they have in common. Or it's the one place that two lines have in common. So this is point A, and we want to name the point using a ordered pair. So to get to A, I'm going to go to on the x-axis so my x-coordinate is 2 and I have to go up 2 for my y-coordinate for B I have to go over 2 so if I have to go left this is negative 2 and up 2 and for C I have to go over 2 to the left and down to and notice how since this is a y equals a number the y's were the same and this was x equals a number so for these two the x's were the same so that was just a quick review of graphing. Um, it's going to help us for our next video where we're going to talk about the distance formula.